Hey guys, what's up? This is Nerdness and in this video, I will be talking about the classes and objects and methods in Java. Well, classes and objects and methods, they're the very basic concepts in Java. But people, they do get stuck in this concept. So, I just thought of revising it once and I'll try to do it in a fun way so you guys don't get bored. But still, you get a clear concept of what classes and objects and uh, methods in Java really are. Okay, so let's start. Um, let us consider a society. A society consisting of number of houses and one house which belongs to the president of the society. Uh, it's the bigger one, of course. So basically, the society uh, works together, and few uh, few houses together uh, uh, take care of one task. Like two two uh, houses, they take care of money stuffs, and then other two houses to take care of like electricity stuff and car parking stuff and all that shit stuff I, we don't know so basically basically the president is the one who runs the society and he and he handles everything that's in the society and the last one who decides what happens with the, in the society is him so basically uh, the president he plays a really crucial role and without him the society doesn't work of course so uh, the president is the handler uh, of the society, basically. So, uh, basically, let us consider two houses. Um, basically, let's consider that uh, they are like uh, they're like managing the uh, money part of the society. So, uh, they keep the track of everything that happens, you know, with the money, like the total donation that comes up per month, and then the amount of money that's spent in various new stuffs like parking stuffs and electricity stuffs and all that shit of stuff we don't need to know so he do, they just keep track on everything related to money and then the final thing that uh, that takes place goes to the president the president wants to know so basically let uh, so basically like uh, the houses uh, they consist of one particular uh, like category that is the managing money category so basically uh, they handles everything related to money and they do all the uh, functions uh, and coordinations they need within themselves and now everything's over the president needs to know what's going on and the president wants to know everything uh, the amount of money that's left and amount of money that goes in and all the stuff so basically the president he cannot go and directly ask the house owner like what's going on dude like it's really not it's really mannerless and of course the president has lots and lots of stuff so he doesn't have the time to go to everyone and ask buddy what's going on prove what's going on so basically uh, he has appointed a person for every task who keeps a track of everything that's going on uh, and he brings it to the president and tells him that this is this is this is all the things that's going on so basically let's consider uh, Mr. Bean or whoever let's consider Mr. Bean he handles everything so he keeps a track of the money that's going on the all the methods and functions that's uh, going on in the house to so keep the track of the money so he goes and now uh, he takes all the report and the president of course appointed him so he takes everything and the, all the information that's inside the house what's going on is now loaded in him so now he goes to the president and the president doesn't have to move he sits at this place and he gets a track of everything that happens in the whole society and that's how he runs it now he runs everything that's needed so like the president needs that first thing he needs to run is collection of money collection of, uh, collection of money shops then the sec second thing he needs to run uh, to coordinate the society is uh, distribution of money so this is basically um, he keeps a track of everything that's going in the house and then he manages stuff like that so let's come to Java and let's see what exactly happened uh, what exactly happened in the society so basically uh, the whole society is a project uh, 
Okay, new project. Uh, yes. Okay, so let's name it Society. Society stops. Okay. Mm, okay, my spelling's wrong, but it's okay. So it's okay. This is Society, and um, we are particularly looking at one part of it that is the money part. So basically, I need a class. A, uh, a class that deals with only the money stuff so let us make a class and name it money of course because it's dealing with the money subs okay so let us consider that there's two uh two basically uh two houses that in involved in the money subs the one who keeps track of the money that's coming and the one who keeps track of the money that's going so let's um Incoming. Well, yeah, first, well, first I'll be uh, incoming, and the second one be outgoing. Uh, okay, so these are the now two houses that's in the society. Okay, so uh, let's consider that this man incoming has got hundred lakhs. Uh, we are not going to write one zero zero and five zero more. So uh, let this hundred to know 100 lakhs so uh, let's uh, let's just consider that incoming has got 100 bucks for this month and now it's 100 bucks only with him so now uh, of course the maximum limit of outgoing is 100 so uh, the president has given the rule that do it you can only give uh, only give 75 person uh, I mean 3 by 4 I don't, I don't know if 75 or not. Uh, okay, so you can only give 3 by 4 of the incoming money to the distributors. The rest of the money, uh, we're going to keep him to develop uh, things in the society. That's what uh, this cost. So, the outgoing now... Uh, uh, so, the outgoing now uh, becomes... Uh, and uh, outgoing total. It's it's basically uh, a method. A method is the one which deals with all the I mean uh, the uh, manipulates uh, this variables and it it just it, these are the functions which actually are taking place inside the houses. These are actually the functions in Java. So basically. Uh, I'm gonna make outgoing is equal to hun sorry three three into hundred uh, by four okay and now I'm gonna do return outgoing okay so basically this is our class money and this is all the stuff that going inside the house uh, these two houses so basically incoming has got 100 bucks this month and outgoing can return 3 fourth of the incoming money so basically uh, incoming has got 100 bucks and I told outgoing that dude I've got 100 bucks now what are you gonna return to the president is 3 by 4 of 100 so now uh, so this was basically a class I mean the whole society it it works it co works in coordination so the the whole society can be considered a project project so basically all the whole project is maintained by few houses uh, taking up different responsibilities so these responsibilities or this clubbing together can be termed as classes so in like in Java, only uh, this money, the houses which deals with money, is now uh, is now brought into the class. I mean, uh, incoming and outgoing, these two houses are now clubbed into the same class of money. So basically, this is class, and this is the method which uh, manipulates, uh, uh, which which gives the desired output. So basically, now let's make the class. President. I'm making a president class because he's a main and 
basically the president is the one who runs the society so in terms of java president is the class in which uh, there is a main method the main method is the one which runs the whole program the job when the java program runs it first goes and search for, search for um, this main method so basically uh, president is the main method in this situation so let's just write public static wide main and string me All right so basically this is the main method now like I told you the president cannot directly go to the house and just ask him do what's going on he needs someone to access the houses so basically in terms of Java the president class the president class it needs to make an object to access the money class because it cannot directly go to money and say dude I need you to tell me what's going on so it's just it needs to create an object for the class money but because it's different class and it cannot directly go there so like I'm making um, an object so an object for uh, the money class so money obj is the name of the person uh, or named object so is equal to new money right so I made the I made the, per, the object for this one so now everything that's going on here is loaded in this object so now the president doesn't need to go there and ask do what's going on he can directly call the object and uh, ask him do what's going on with there so he will be presented with um, lots of information and the president will know so basically uh, now um, the president wants to know how much money is given to the distributor so I am gonna make uh, a variable uh, in var and var is going to is equal to obj dot and what's the uh, dot outgoing and total so basically it wants to know from object that how much money is uh, going to the distributors. So what what objects need to do is uh, what um, the president needs to do is it, it wants to call this particular method. So he exactly knows how much money uh, what what amount of money is going to the distributors. So basically he then loaded this information in this var the variable or whatever you can say like this part of the memory or something like that and var and now he knows how much money is there so now just to show you how much money uh, the amount of money of money going to the distributors sorry is then plus var okay and a semicolon okay so let's directly run it mm, okay okay mm, oh, it's running 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 yeah so the amount of money going to the distributors is 75 yeah I was right 75 percent okay so basically this is what exactly classes and objects and methods in Java is and I just hope you got a clear idea of what they really are and there's no more confusion because I cannot explain any better so uh, if there's any doubt you be free to leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching and for more subscribe